In Creo Parametric with multi-body modeling, you can split bodies and remove bodies. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a helicoil and I imported some geometry from McMaster Car. And the problem is when you get it from McMaster Car, it's got the little tab that you use in order to insert it. Let's take a look at how to modify that to get rid of it. I will create a brand new part. Let's specify that this is the name helicoil. Here my part is created. One thing to make sure of, I'm going to change my absolute accuracy. I still have not updated my model templates to use absolute accuracy, which is now the default. Let's change this to three zeros, 39. Hit the regenerate button. And now we have our absolute accuracy. Let's bring in the geometry. I will go to the get data overflow menu and then choose import. Let's locate that step file with the helical geometry. I will click the import button and I'm using my personal step profile. Let's click the OK button out of here. And there you see the geometry that is coming in. Let's hit the check mark out of here. And again, you can see that we've got this extra thing over here that we do not want. So let's start off by turning off the display of coordinate systems and I'll leave axes on. I'm just going to manually hide my default datums out of here for a moment. So for get, getting rid of this tab geometry, I could probably do it with flexible modeling. I had trouble just using the remove command to do that. So first off, let's take a look at creating a datum plane for doing this. I will click on the plane tool and I'm going to select a couple of the edges over here. Hold down the control key and let me get, where's the edge on the bottom over there? I can, there we go. I can see it now. Hold down the control key, grab this other edge over here. There you see a preview of the datum plane that is going to be created. Just to reduce its display, I'm going to go to the display tab and check the adjust outline button and then change to reference. And I'm going to pick that little edge over there. So it's just about as big as the area that I am working on. I will go to the properties tab. And I'm going to call this my slice plane since that's what I'm using it for. I will click the OK button. Now I have this plane here in the, modi, in the model. Let me try to use the split body command. So I click on it. First I select the body that I want to split. Then I have my splitting object. I will pick the plane. And you can see here, it's actually extending the plane. I mean, the plane is infinite to begin with. So it's ending up slicing way too much away over here. So I'm going to cancel out of here. For your splitting object, you can use a plane, a surface, or a quilt. So I'm going to create a fill surface. I will click on the fill command. For my sketch, I will select the plane that I just created. Let's use the project command, and I'm going to select the edges that go around over here. Let me get this one over there. And let's see, I'm getting lost in here. Where the heck is that other edge? I can just see through the model to create it. And I will click, and it looks like a few of the edges are overlapping. Let's go to the corner tool, and then I'll select this and this, and that got rid of one of the red dots, that and that. By the way, those red dots are showing up because I have the highlight open ends option checked, which is the default setting. So by using the corner command, we've trimmed everything to one another. We get the shaded preview when we have a closed loop because of this option over here. So that is good for my fill surface. I will hit the check mark out of here and then check mark again. So now I have a fill surface. Let's try to use that as the split object. We'll click split body again. I will select the main body. By the way, when I imported the geometry, it all went into body one. Now for my splitting object, let me get that surface and I will query select, which is tapping the right mouse button until the fill surface highlights. And I'll select it 
and it still shows it going through everything and that's because of this option here extend the splitting object I'm going to turn that option off and now it's just highlighting that portion that I want to be a separate body I will hit the check mark now when we take a look at body 2 over here you can see that it's got the split body located as one of the features in there same with body 1 and because I did that split now the slice plane went back to the big size but I can just hide that because I'm not going to use that anymore I can't delete this body because it actually contains features instead I will use the remove body command and that way it's geometry you can see it's previewing over here let's hit the check mark in order to remove that by the way if you go to the references tab the only thing that it lists are the bodies to remove and the properties tab is where you can rename this feature as well let's hit the check mark that little stipling that you see over there is because the fill surface is still visible I can hide that as well and in that way we have used the split body and remove body commands in order to get rid of that unwanted geometry out of our helicoil part. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.